looking for a good time? Amen. Because there's no good times in the world right now. <coughs> and if you're watching the news at all, I was telling some of the brother on that side a while ago, it's almost unbelievable how much killing is going on around the world every day. And right before I left to come over here, two more cops shot and killed. Then you saw in Carolina, I mentioned this last week, where the man killed, I forget how many it was, and then it's there. And it's every day, not every week, every day this is going on. Amen. Then the storms that's hitting, tornadoes. And they're look, saying now it's going to be one of the worst hurricane seasons that's been in a long time. What have we got to look forward to? Amen. Nothing in this world. Amen. Then the volcano, I believe it was, what did I say that was at in the Philippines? Huh? The Caribbean, wasn't it? Is that right? How many saw the picture of that? That thing erupted, and Lord, hundreds and hundreds of feet in the air. The worst had been in 40 some years. And it's happened to take people away from there by the thousands. And some of them they couldn't take away. And the reason they said they weren't taking them because they tested positive for this COVID. So that's the world we're living in now. Nothing good at all until you open this. Amen. And once we get in that, I don't know what you think about it, but all I can see the sunshiny days. Amen. That's the bride that we're talking about. Amen. Now, here at last Sunday night, and whoo, it is warm again. How I many is good and warm? I see some wiping some wet. And I feel the heat myself. I don't know what the hour is on. Is it still on? And I don't know what it's setting on. How many things is hot, or is it just me? How many is hot? How many is just right? Bless your hearts. <laughs> How many is cold? I don't doubt that not one bit. She raised her hand. I can keep it 80 degrees in the house. They got blankets wrapped up around them. Let me see that again. How many is hot? Let me see the hands on them. It's just right again. But it's going to get hot. <laughs> so we're going to open up on this world in a minute. But the thing that I jumped over and read last Sunday night, remember I was in the uh, fourth seal and was reading there about the thunders, and that was on page 286, I believe it was. And Revelation 19, right there together with it. Then I jumped over to page 290. How many remember that? Not one person. <laughs> Nobody remembers that? Maybe I'm not being heard good. You remember Brother David when I jumped over there to read that? You don't remember these? Lord, I'm going to have to pray for this bunch. They're not listening. I read about the thunders, and I said, let's turn over here to 290. And I know somebody goes, oh, yeah, now, now, now. And I said, let me read this. You want to see what's going to kill the people? The bottom of page 290. And I'll go ahead and read it again, because y'all don't remember. Not one hand in here remembers that. If you want to see their dead, by, now if you think I'm wrong, go get the uh, DVD or whatever you call them, CD, DVD, and listen, you'll hear it right at the end. This is what I jumped over and read and then closed. How many listened to that message this week? Well, no wonder you're not hearing anything. 
But if you listen to that, right at the end, you hear me reading this one verse. If you want to see their dead bodies, turn over to Revelations 19. After the word slays them. Now the word is going to kill them. You know that. Now you just watch and see what happens when Christ coming in Revelation 19. Do you believe that started with William Murray and Brandon? You really believe that? I want to go back, and I got some pages wrote down here, and I want to hit on this. Now, the other night we read, and I hope you caught that. Let me do that one more time on 512. I believe that is what I'm looking for. Down at the bottom, talking about the thunders, and making it plain, that prophet said, well, we read it in the Bible. When he had opened the seven seal, did that prophet open it? Yeah. Silence here. A half hour silence. Now, we don't know what that is in God's time. But listen to this. I'm only telling you what I, 512 at the bottom. What I've seen, what's been told me, you do whatever you want to. I don't even know who's going to. What's going to take place? I do not know. I just know the seven thunders hold that mystery. Heavens was what? Silence had hit. Amen. You believe that? Amen. But when silence hit, when he opened that seal, that's the reason he said over here when he opened it, there's no altar service, no singing, no praises in heaven. Now they're going around the world having revivals. But the bride. The prophet, I'll just tell you what he said. I'll give you his word. The bride has not had a revival yet. Amen. It'll take them seven thunders back there to wake her up. Amen. Now, do you believe that? You believe what he said, though? Do you see silence hit when he opened that seven seal? You know he opened it. It's right here. <laughs> silence hit, and the seven thunders is holding something all that time. But that silence has to break. Amen. Glory. How many believe it's breaking? Amen. What are we hearing now? If that's where we're at, what do you think is going to happen? Now remember what I read right here on 290. The word is what will slay them. We're not going out here with guns, knives. The word is going to do it. Amen. How important is that part? Look the world over, see if you can find the word. I'm not talking about people in the pulpit running, jumping and hollering, screaming and shouting. Try to find the word. Amen. What was that third pull? Speak the word. Now the Bible said over the first of this seal book, it is not written, and I believe that might be in the breach, I'm not sure. It's not written in the Holy Scripture, talking about the Bible now, what them thunders say. Now, do you believe that part? Amen. Then he said it will have to be revealed. Amen. Did he do that? Amen. Did he start at the first of his book telling you, these thunders will do this, these thunders will do this, all the way through. Now, I want you to turn the page to, well, let's go on over in 291 here. I saw an angel standing in the sun. Now that's right after. Look above here. His vesture was dipped in with blood, and he is called King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In the 13th verse, he is called the Word of God. Here he is, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And I saw an angel. The prophet said, Now watch. He goes forth out of his mouth. Go up a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations. Out of his mouth, right from God's mouth to Moses' mouth. He shall rule them with a rod of iron. Tread the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of Almighty God. He had on his vesture a name, on his thigh, a name written, King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And I saw an angel now the Bible said, he comes forth smiting. Who is he smiting? Jezebel and her Ahab false prophets. Was that William Murray and Branham? 
And now I saw an angel standing in the sun. He cried with a loud voice, Say it to all the fowls of the earth and in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourselves together to that supper of the great God. He feeds them to the beasts and the birds, their bodies. What's going to kill them to start with? The word. Amen. Now, in the other chapter here of the book of Revelation, in just a minute, he killed with a sword and death the beast of the earth the Jezebel church, her actual body is to be eaten by the fowls and the beasts of the earth. Just exactly like Ahab and Jezebel was in the natural, so are they to be in a spiritual form, a church. Is that the Jezebel and Ahab out here today that we're talking about? Spiritually? Now is their bodies, do you believe what he said here? you believe the word's going to take them out? Wonder where the word's at. Amen. Now, I want to turn over. Let me see, I don't want to miss one thing that I wrote down here. 293 a minute. The prophet said, we had to go different places of the scripture to Revelation 19 to show the coming of Christ I mean, read the book with me. We'll do what? Slay the Antichrist. That's the reason I had to leave these. Just take them two verses. Go to different parts of the scripture to prove. That's the reason I went to Revelation 19 to show you the end of the Antichrist. Christ, when he comes, is going to slay the Antichrist. Amen. That's anything that is not God. Amen. Anything that's again, even one word, they're going down. Amen. Now we stand tonight, not very many around the world, a small group of people, but we got something the world knows nothing about. Amen. And I hope and pray that it's coming to you real plain. Now I want to go backwards here a minute. Keep in mind the things that I just read to you. To page 270 and 271. What is going to kill them? The Word. Amen. Is the Word God. Amen. Not just any word will do it. Cannot be a creed, a dogma, or a denomination. It's got to be the Word. Amen. Now on page 70 at the bottom, He's talking about, I'll just read this part of it. All that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose name were not written in the book. This is plain. What book? This book. Amen. Now I can go back to the first of the sealed book. And the prophet said, the seven sealed book will be revealed by the seven thunders. Amen. of Revelation 10. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. Do you believe it had to come to him? Amen. But who's going to reveal it? He opened that seven seal, silence hit the earth. Say whatever you want to. It was over. Silence hit. Then the prophet said, whatever's going to happen, I do not know, I cannot tell you. I can't even tell you who's going to do it. He seen somebody doing it. But the seven thunders holds that mystery. Amen. He said, remember, heavens was quiet about it. How privileged are we? Amen. Sitting right here. Amen. <laughs> Touch not my oil and wine. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names were not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. We had him coming last night with his great sword to kill. Amen. 
the devil. Remember the verses I just turned and read to you. How he gets killed. We find out that he gets killed with the sword. Amen. Satan. Antichrist. The sword of the world. God, sharp, two-edged sword, slays him. Are we hearing this? Amen. Puts him right down. Wait till them seven thunders of their voices. Amen. Amen. Now who's going to take them out? I have preached Amen. to this group right here for years now. I have screamed. Some just ignore it. But I have screamed. One day, we're going to find out just how important them seven thunders are. Amen. It's got to happen. And people that just about halfway doubt it. You're in for a surprise like you've never had in your life. Amen. And God would choose somebody that the world thinks is off the rockers. Amen. Not too smart. But you take them people and turn the world upside down. Amen. Now did you get what I just read? The word is what slays him. He's always in Revelation 19. Another place in this book, the prophet said, when our Lord appears, that's in the fourth seal, if I'm not mistaken. Bear with me just a minute. I can quote them, but I, like, I really like to read them. If I can. Do you love him? Amen. Well, I may have to go back the other way to get that part. But right here, on page 281. The last message they get, not the bride, is when this prophet, which was William Brown, that I've been speaking of, I, he didn't put that there, I did. I have been reading many books about it, and I know that real good, sensible, spiritual thinking man knows that that's coming. They know that. They know it's coming, but the trouble of it is, they keep saying, we need it, it's going to be, and when it comes, it'll be so humble, they'll probably miss that like they did the other times. Amen. Was he that prophet? Amen. How many believe something else is fixing to happen? Amen. Wonder if it's going to be so humble, it's going to, most people are just going to miss it, going to go right over the top of it. Amen. Why? People get to looking at the man, like the prophet said. But what do we got to look at? Y'all don't know what I'm doing during the week. But I'm watching ministers, not denominational, message preachers they call themselves. I'm watching them by the hundreds. I pull them up on YouTube and it's under the heading of believer's testimony and one with the cloud, a picture of the cloud with the prophet. And they got pictures, preachers on top of preachers there, running, hollering, and their message is is, and I want you to think about what you've been hearing. People are going around saying, this is what they're hollering now. That the mercy seat is closed. Where they'll shout and run the aisles. And I'm not just talking about one, I'm talking about Donna Reagan and bunches of them out there that are with him. Not just in America, around the world. They're saying that the mercy seat is closed, but I got news for you, that didn't happen. And I got the book right here, people. Yeah. Only way you'll get it is seven thunder. I don't care how you look at it. That's the only way you're going to get it. And right here, the lamb walked out. He left the mercy seat. And the Bible said this book cannot be revealed until the lamb leaves and comes out. This is it. Everything in the book was him. And that is you. That is the believer. And the thunders are in on this mystery. Amen. Did he say the coming of the Lord is in a mystery? A threefold purpose? Amen. And he said the reason they would not know about the coming of the Lord, they also would not know about the seventh under mystery. It's connected together. Amen. How many are going to miss it? Because they started as soon as he left here. Running, putting their interpretation on this, on this, on this. And we know Joseph, 
in Indiana, the Larry put up the day. And he's turned them preachers all to pieces with it. He says, if you want to get the word, press what? And every preacher out there is coming around, running the aisle, jumping up and down in the air, the congregation running and shouting while they're saying it. I don't care if he's the son of a prophet. That has nothing to do with it. Nobody tells us what to say and what to do. All of them are together on this. I'm watching them. This ain't somebody telling me this. I'm watching them do it. And here's 10 or 15 preachers across the platform. And they had their Easter service. And all of them up there preaching. And the whole topic just about was going to get him for saying, press play. There was a little tape that we got a hold of years ago when my dad was still living. I was still doing drywall. And I sat in my car sometimes and listened to it when I don't lunch break or something, when I was taking a break. And he said, listen, people, everything that you have a question about, the answer is on the table. It's in the book. Amen. And he said, if I ever tell you anything, other, this is his words, uh, how many heard it? Amen. Other than what Brother Branham said, do not listen to me. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> then I got a book over here. What the prophet said. God will say things sometimes because there are too many following. Amen. And he'll say things that will absolutely make people turn and walk away. Amen. And say, I'm not listening to it no more. And here they are. You'd be surprised how many is again him. And I see now why I hear a while back. When I got a letter, it was friends. Two times. He knows what's going on. The bride knows what's going on. Silence is breaking now. So what is he going to do? You hear it from the thunders. That's the secret they hold. The Bible said it's in a threefold mystery. What a bullet. When he's in the South Seal, said I'm it yesterday. It's the coming of the Lord. It started with William Murray Brown. Amen. Come riding on a white horse. How many know what the white horse is? The word. Not nothing mixed with it. Amen. He come riding in on it. Then he said, now I'm going to give you a fold of it here. What my revelation is. Was that what you want? Amen. Amen. These seven thunders, he heard thunders. And was forbidden right. That's what the mystery is. That's a fold of it. Is that his words? I'll open the book and read it to you. That is a fold of it. Then he said, what this next fold is, I do not know. I seen it fly across there, but I couldn't make it out. But ain't you glad he didn't stop there? He said, but these seven thunders hold that mystery. These seven thunders will reveal that mystery. So what are we going to listen to? Don't take my word for it. Don't take nobody else's word for it. Look right here. Here's your answer. Do you believe them thunders are the bowl of it? Amen. You believe they know the whole mystery. Nobody knows how it's coming. Even Jesus said he didn't know. Amen. Is that the words of our prophet? Amen. Nobody knows how it's coming or when it's coming. But there will be. Amen. Be what? Seven voices Amen. of these thunders that will reveal that great revelation. If it's in a threefold mystery, do we believe one of them was William Murray Brown? Amen. You believe the second fold he told you was seven thunders? I didn't say it, he did. Amen. Then they got a mystery that the world knows nothing about. Amen. And it's fixing to hit as sure as I'm here. I don't know. I'm watching how many is watching the one we put on. And the one we just made last week. It went up over 100 people watching. And how many of you sitting here watch it? About three people. Wonder who's listening to it. It shows you how many picked it up. Wonder who's listening to it. Wonder what they're saying one to the other. 
Because I have come down on them hard and you know it. Amen. But seven brothers hold something Amen. that the world will never get. Amen. Now, that's the last message they get. But back over here, we find out he gets killed with the sword. The sword of the world. It slays him. Am I pointing it out to you all the way through this book? The word? Is this the word right here? The word is what's going to take the devil out. How should that make you feel? Are you looking around you at the dead riding all over the place? Do you see the people dying by the thousands every day? Do you see how God's blessing you through all of this? It don't matter how hard times get. Look how he just keeps blessing you. Amen. You keep doing what he said, he'll keep blessing you. But if you don't do what he said, you're just getting in more trouble. Amen. Do what he said. Watch what he does. Amen. I'm talking about a God that does everything he said he would do. He don't back up on nothing. Amen. And every promise he made is yours. It's up to you. Amen. Now, Seven thunder. Wait till they, wait till they, wait till they. Why did they, why'd they say wait? How many believe this is a seal foretold right here? I read it to you. It's wrote right here in this, in this seal. Wait till them seven thunders <coughs> uttered their voices. Of that group. Are you part of it? Amen. That can take the word of God and hand it there. Get a slice. Get a cut. They can close the heavens. They can shut this or that. Whatever they want to. He'll be slayed by the word that proceeds from his mouth. Who mouth? God's mouth. Amen. It is sharper than a two-edged sword. They, not he, but they could call for a hundred billion tons of lies. We're almost there. Amen. Believe it or not. Amen. If they wanted to. Amen. Amen. Whatever they say. Amen. Not he. Whatever they say. Amen. It's going to happen. Amen. Did we read several times here to you? These thunders will be known by the real true bride. Amen. Is it in the four seal right here where it's talking about the coming of the Lord? And he said, here they are, talk about Revelation 19, just riding right along. On white horses also, not mixed with anything. Living that word like they're supposed to be living. Everything that God said, they're lined up with it. And I say, no, I can get by with this. No, you can't get by with nothing. But just riding right along. And his words, I'm quoting him, people. I can quote the book. Dana, these thunders will issue this. Wonder who they are. There's something all over this platform right now. I hope I'm talking to you. They know it. And when I sit and read and study and Satan fighting this body with everything he can fight with. You know why he's doing pushing so hard on this old body right here? He knows he's fixing to lose his grip. And when he does, oh my, my. I'm not going to just get healed and get it again in a few a month or something. It's going to go and going to stay gone. Amen. That's a promise I got from God. Amen. What about you? Amen. Whatever they say is going to happen. Here's the key to that. Because it's the word of God coming from the mouth of God. He said, yeah, Amen. God always, it's his word, but he always uses man to work. Amen. Can you find it in a denomination? No. Can you find it out among the message preachers out here? So-called. No, they're hollering, we're more back to Pentecost. And that's why they run around and grab this Bible right here. Run over the platform. I can't find it here. It's not in my Bible. Well, Joseph is a prophet. But I found it in mine. They missed the whole thing. Why did that prophet carry this up in Sabino Canyon 
Lord, I'm so glad I went up there when I did. Why did he carry this in a little tablet? And he made it so plain. He said, I laid this down. Is that the word? Raised my hand and I said, Lord God. Now this is before this happened. He's already in Arizona. But this hadn't happened yet. I said, Lord, what does all this mean? I'm losing my mind. Does it mean I'm going to die? What is it? He said, I had my hands up and a sword hit my hand. Glory, said, I looked at that and I said, but well, ain't nobody miles of me looking around for somebody that stuck. That's how real it was. It wasn't a dream. Amen. And he said, who put that there? And a voice come down through the rocks. He said, that is the sword of the king. Yes. And the sword of the king is the word of the Lord. Amen. What he done? Laid this thing. Amen. I can quote it. But I can read it anytime you want me to. After this had been interpreted completely, did that prophet do that? Amen. Completely. Then he opened, took a sword or something sharp, and t- cut the top out of that pyramid. Amen. And on the inside, is that the sword he put in his hand? Amen. Is that what John heard? Amen. And he started to write something. And a voice spoke and said, John, don't, don't do that. Don't put that in that book. Man, you messed the whole plan up. Man, Lord. Well, you have impersonators out there every time to do that. I'll reveal it when it comes time to do it. Amen. So when did he reveal it? He got in a prophet named William Murray Branham, and right here it is. Man, what John couldn't write, that them thunder said, God took his prophet and put it here in the state we're living in. Man, if you believe that the Lord's here and lived up to it, your name is in what we call the Lamb's Book of Life, and it is the Book of Redemption. Amen. What do redeem mean? You're coming back home. Amen. Old age is going to get out of here. Amen. That has got to flee. Amen. How many feel something in here? Amen. I don't know about you, but I feel a preacher in here tonight. Amen. So when you're standing there, that ain't me. I didn't say that, so you think something. I don't take that. I said, that ain't me, the preacher. The preacher's inside. Amen. He's the one doing the talking. Amen. Remember what I read here a while ago? It's God's word that he uses a man Amen. to speak it. Amen. A man to do it. Amen. Now, here we are with this. See, it ain't he that here now. This was, you was hearing this for years. And we sat around I ain't worried about it. Anything happens, it just happens. I just go down there to have somewhere to go. God have mercy on you. Amen. I'm not worried about becoming what I'm here. I don't have to live right. I don't have to treat people right. I can just do what I want. No, you're not. Amen. God knows everything. Amen. God could call for them flies down in Egypt. But he said, Moses, that's your job. Is that fixing to happen again in our day? You believe God could call for everything we're reading right here? But you know what he put here? Thunders, that's your job. Thunders, you're going to do this. It'll be my word coming through your mouth. There's what John couldn't write in the book of Revelation in Revelation 10. He could not write it, but it's on earth now. How should that make us feel? Are you getting it, people? Let me turn back here just a minute. We're still looking for the one thing. That I wanted to read a minute right here in front of me. When our Lord appears here, I'm on page 273. When he appears here on earth, he'll be riding on a snow white horse. And he'll be completely, fully, the Emmanuel, the Word of God, 
incarnate in a man. Amen. Let me scream it. Wait a minute. He appeared here on a solid white horse. Amen. And them preachers sitting out there talking about all this stuff. Well, some of them, I hear some of them say it. I know they hear it. He's not on the mercy seat now, but I'm telling you the mercy seat's still up. They cannot believe one word of this and believe that. Amen. Then, the next thing they're coming, this is just a few things they're doing. Said so some of them is even going around and saying that he was the son of man in this day. Message preachers, they call themselves. Well, I'm looking in the camera right now. And I'm going to scream it again. And it's, it's open. They can holler in. Invite me to your church. Amen. The mercy seat closes when the seals come open. Amen. Get in the book called The Feast of the Trumpets. The prophets own words that walk this way right here. I'll read it to you. When them seals opened up, the bride was sealed away. Amen. No more celebrating Christmas days. Amen. No more holidays. Amen. No more holy days. Amen. I'm quoting him, people. Amen. Are you in on it? Amen. 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 Get powerful up here. Wait till them thunders throw their voices out there. Amen. It's fixing to hit the world. Amen. And whatever they say is going to happen. Amen. Did you get that? When our Lord appears right here on earth, He'll be riding on a snow white horse. He'll be completely, not partially, partially, fully the Emmanuel, the Word of God, incarnate in a man. That's just how much difference there is in that. Over here, he's talking about the devil appearing here. Let's see about how he comes. Pulled his Satan on his throne. He offered it to God. Offered it to our Lord. Here he is sitting here with this beastly heart in him. Here is the person, the beast, the incarnate devil. He makes his appearing here on earth under the false pretense. He said, oh my goodness. Under the false pretense of the true word. That's Satan. Amen. That's the Antichrist. Amen. That's what's riding out here. Got death wrote all over. Can you see that now? But do you believe when all of them powers was changed? Same old rider all the time, the devil. There was one riding on earth that never changed his colors. Amen. Amen. He was the word when he hit the earth. He's still the word when he's riding. He'll be the word for eternity. Amen. He never gets off of it. Amen. So how does God work? To men. Amen. Now, I keep moving things around up here, but how many got what I said there? That's why they can't find that in their Bible. Amen. Somebody going to Oh my, hold that word right there, Adam, here before long. Get ready for it. Glory. And the thing of it is, here we sit in a little old place like this. Amen. I doubt if you could even get one of them to come in here and preach. Amen. Glory. If you think I'm joking, look, watch them and look at their buildings. Big, fancy buildings they got. We believe the prophet. We believe him. Cutting Joseph down every time they get in the pulpit. I believe God's word. Amen. Amen. And they said, well, that prophet said this about one of his daughters and all this, so that don't mean that Joseph the prophet. I got news for all of them. And it's right here on camera. Amen. Lord. Brother Brown. Didn't make up a story and say, I'm going to have a boy. Amen. An angel came to him. Amen. When he was praying in a closet. He said, you will have a son. Amen. He did not say, go name him whatever you want to. You will have a son and you will call his name Joseph. Amen. Amen. God sent him. God named him. Amen. He's on earth. Amen. And the world knows nothing about it. How did Jesus get here? An angel came to murder. You'll have a son. You'll call his name Jesus. 
Right. See, why that was Jesus when he was here? He done everything he come to do in that body. Right. Everyone he come to save, he got them. Right. Everyone he come to redeem, he got them. Right then, not later, right then. Right. When he conquered death, hell, and the grave and ascended on high, he received a new name right then. And that's the reason they holler and don't get nothing, but somebody's fixing to get something because they know what that new name is. They're in on that mystery. How did you get it? On page 141 right here in the seal book. His name on earth was redeemed, but that's what he was. But when he done all that and conquered death, hell, and the grave, ascended on high, he received a new name. Amen. And that probably said it will be revealed in them thunders. Amen. Watch in every you want to and find it. You're going to find out how blessed you are before. Amen. Listen to any of them and try to find it. We get too impatient sometimes. I don't know why this ain't done happen, that ain't done happen. Don't question God. Amen. Put your faith in God. Amen. He knows what you need, what you don't need. Amen. And if you believe in Him and know He'll take care of you, you ain't worried about a thing. Because everything the devil does to come again you, God will take that and turn it around for your good. I don't care what it is. He'll turn it around to work out in your good. Do we still believe him? How many got what I read right there? Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn back here. I can't do it in this part of my seal book. It's war out, ain't it? But do you know everything that's on this is in here? You watch me stand up here and I can quote just about everything in here, but I always do one thing. I try to open the book and give you his words. Amen. Right. On page 64, I wanted to drop back here and do this. I've got so much lined up. Let me stop right there on 63. If you're reading it. The seven seal book is revealed at the time of the seven thunders of Revelation 10. And this is at the end time. Are we there? Now, on page 64, I quoted this a while ago. The prophet said up here at the top of the page, talking about he had in his hand a little book open. He said, here it was closed, were in Revelation 5, and sealed, but here it's open. It's been open since that time of the sealing. When the seals are open, Somebody's listening to me right now. Amen, Lord. That bride is sealed away. Amen. Then when that seal is open, it reveals you with it. Amen, Lord. Then the prophet said, your words are over. Amen, Lord. You're not worried if you're going or not. You're going. Amen, Lord. Are you the word? Do you believe in him? Let me read part of this. John was commissioned to write. Write what he saw. So the apostle and prophet picked up his pen to write it. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered and write them not. Lord. Now you can tell me it's written in that Bible all you want to. It is not written in the Bible. Amen. It's Lord. not in there. What? Go, well, let's go right here to the next paragraph. Now that's what we don't know. That's why that prophet had to be here. Because the word comes to the prophet. Then he turns around and gives it to the people. The prophet said, that's what we don't know. That's yet to be revealed. It's not in 
the Holy Scripture want them thunders sight. Amen. Then how important is them thunders to a little group called the Bride of Christ? Amen. How many see what I'm talking Amen. about right here? Am I making this plain enough? Amen. You ought to could tell by the anointing that's behind it right Amen. now. Amen. Amen. Better than it's been for a long time. Stronger right now than it's been for several nights. And when the seals are broken, we're still in the breach right here. And the mystery is revealed. Was that the prophet that done that? Amen. Down comes the angel. The messenger. Christ. Set in his foot up on land and up on sea with a rainbow over his head. Now remember, the seventh angel is on earth at the time of this coming. Was that seventh angel William Murray and Brown? Amen. So you see what a lot of them are saying? I'm watching all, every angel. They're saying, this right here, this paragraph proves that he was a false prophet. I'm going to show you where you're at. Amen. They said, he said, in Revelation 10, when this angel come down and set one foot on land, one on sea, and said, time to run out, that this seventh angel, which he claimed to be, this is those words, said he would be on earth. He said, see, he's done gone, and it didn't happen. I got news for him. Amen. He's gone, and it did happen. Amen. It's already behind us. What is this doing to you? Amen. The bride has not had a revival yet. Amen. But them thunders will wake her up. Amen. What's going on now? Amen. We live in a world that's just dead everywhere. Amen. But oh my. Something's on the earth. Amen. Among all this death, life is still out here. What is that? Eternal life. Man, which never did Lord. begin and it never will end. Amen. And that is only God and that's why you are part of this. Amen. You believe we are written epistles? Amen. The Word wrote about us in this day and we are hearing it. I hope you hear your name in here. Amen. Remember me saying this so many times down through the years and here, here we are there now. Thunders do not make Altar calls. Amen. They make a roll call. Amen. 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 What's all these people saying out here? Ain't no such thing as seven thunders. Can't be. Brother Brian told us every mystery. Glory. He didn't leave nothing undone. Amen. Glory. Well, I'm going to ask you something. When the first bull came, the angel said, do not explain that. Second come, do not explain it. He got on the pulpit and he said, all these preachers got around and said, that's why I have such problems. A bunch of preachers always, always wanting to know this and that. Amen. Brother Brandon, how do you do that? And look where all these impersonators. Do you know that's where they come from? Amen. And I see some now in the message. Walking the aisles. Impersonate that gift that prophet had. Amen. Tell them somebody that got probably a headache. Yeah. I'm not talking about denominations. I can name them preachers one behind the other. They don't even know I know them. But I know them. I know their names. I know where they're from. And the word is what's going to slay everything out here. But that angel come to that prophet. And said, the very thing I told you not to do. This is his word, not mine. You got on the platform and made a show out of it. And the prophet said, I'll tell you one day about it. But it had to be that way. Amen. See how God works? Because it had to cause all this impersonating out here. And they're still trying to do it. Amen. And that angel, that's when the prophet looked and said, Oh, sir, please forgive me. His word was, I'm such a stupid person. Forgive me, Lord. And that's when he had all of that line. His feet tangled up in it. He said, you made a mess out of it. 
But this third pull is coming. And you will not explain it to anybody. Amen. That's right. Amen. Oh, my. Is that going over your head? Amen. Was the third bull speaking the word? Amen. Go to the seventh seal and see what he said about that. When the sword hit his hand, he said, not a voice, but there's something down inside him. He said, that's that third bull. Amen. And here it is. Amen. And what did the angel say now when that comes? Look in that seventh seal. He said, you will not explain it to anybody. Amen. And how many times he go up so far in that seventh seal and he say, I got to stop right there. Got to hush. I felt checked not to go no further. I might say something I shouldn't. Why? He couldn't do it. Amen. The angel said, do not explain that one. And it was the word that he put here in this thing. Amen. But it had to come to that prophet. Now, if you believe him, you got to say, there are seven thunders coming on the scene. Silence is breaking. Amen. And whatever they say is going to start happening. Amen. How long? I don't know, but we got to be right at the door of it. Right now. If whatever they say is going to happen, how important are they? Let me ask you again. Amen. So was that prophet on earth here? When this happened? Now turn over the page. 67 a minute. I think that's the one. No. I wouldn't mean I'll come back to that in a few nights. I got that down for another night. 87. We still in the breach. Wait till we get over there. That one half hour that is silent. Y'all getting a lesson here tonight if you're listening. Amen. Right. Amen. The sanctuary is smoking. There's no more intercession. The sacrifice has left. It's a judgment seat. There's no more blood on it. No more. For the blood covered lamb has walked away. He said, don't you wait till that time. Remember in the Old Testament, as long as the blood was off the mercy seat, it was a judgment seat. Amen. That's right. You remember that prophet being up in the canyon with them brothers when the whirlwind come and God made that prophet turn around and say, judgment is striking the West Coast. Amen. And Alaska almost sunk right after that. Amen. And he said, ever since that, this boy he left, he said, ever since that, up and down the coastlines. It's rearing its head up. <laughs> He's, man, He's going to sink California and it can't be way off down the road. Amen. He's still rearing his head up. Did you see the first of the week? I believe Brother Garvin sent it to me on the phone and I was picking up a swarm of earthquakes Amen. this past week. Amen. The first one was what? A four point something that shook, showed some crack places. But set a swarm up after that, just coming one right after the other, one after the other. He's rearing his head up. They're going to come up one day and take it all down when he gets it. We're at the door. Time is right. You can get out and frolic and have a good time in the world if you want to. I'm not. I want one thing. I want my name written in this book right here. And if I've got that, I have nothing in the world to worry about. Amen. I done told you, Satan is fighting this body with everything he's got because he knows what these sons are fixing to do to him. Amen. They're going to take him down. Amen. Take him out. You know what that means? Your sickness. Amen. Your health. Amen. Everything. Amen. Ladies right there. Amen. Or whatever they say. It's going to happen. Amen. Now, down at the bottom of the page, I'm fixing the clothes here in just a minute. Here come a lamb and being slain. He came forth. Oh my, what? To make his claims on his redemption. Oh, oh, don't that just make you feel like going over in a corner, sit down and cry a while? Here come a lamb, still bloody. There wasn't nothing there. All the celebrity standing around, but there was none of them could do it. Here come the Lamb. His intercessory days is over. His meditorial days. 
That's when this angel is going to stand there. Don't miss these words, please. You wait till we get in them seals. Did he cut this is still the breach? We get in them seals, and time shall be no more. That half hour of silence. Watch what takes place in that half hour of silence when that seventh seal next Sunday night. When it opens. Did he open it? Please catch it. Did silence hit? Was the thunder holding something? Will they reveal it in that day? Is this that day? Do you believe it? Oh my. I can't hardly get my breath. Something's going on. How much plainer can it get? He's telling you, wait till we get over there in that seventh seal and that half hour silence hits. It hit people when he opened that seal. And he told you what to wait for. Seventh under whole that mystery. What was that mystery? The coming of the Lord. Amen. Nobody don't know when he's coming or how he's coming. But he's coming. Amen. But thou will be. Amen. Not has been, but thou will be. Amen. Seven voices of these thunders that's going to reveal. Amen. He's all over me right now. I feel like singing that song. There ain't nobody on the music. I'm done anyhow. Amen. But I feel like traveling on. Amen. What about you? Amen. The Lord has been so good to me. Amen. I just feel like traveling on. Amen. Get behind me now. Amen. You're under my feet. Amen. We're claiming the God with the message that that prophet left you. How come it's all with you hearing something here before long? I don't know about you, but I believe it when he said, you will run one day and leap over the wall. Get ready. And some of us here can't hardly move. But we're going to run. Not maybe. We are going to run and leap over the wall. And no devil, no arthritis devil, no cancer devil, no high blood devil can stop you from doing it. Excuse me for getting fired up. And I've got several more pages you can see. Let me ask you something. Mike, something got to hold me there a minute ago. Has he took the word tonight and tied it together so plain for you that you have to go home with a song on your heart? And that song would be, I'm one of them. I'm one of them. I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. Sing it with me. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. I'm, one of them. I'm so glad that I can say I'm one of them. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you love him? How do we want to leave tonight? Lord, thank you. He's here. Amen. How much greater is this going to get? Is our power in our words? Amen. Is he telling us something here now that I hope you've been longing for? Amen. That you've been praying for? Amen. What is it? The hour has come. Amen. I believe with all my heart that them seven thunders will wake that bride up. Amen. Are you looking for it? Amen. Don't let it pass you by. Amen. You remember the other night when we read back there, it may have been in the seventh seal. The prophet said, live good Christian lives. Pray up, be ready. Because you don't know what hour something can happen. Amen. I don't know about you, but I can feel that the night start happening. Amen. Have you felt his presence in here tonight? Amen. Are you holding on to that? Amen. 
You gonna come tomorrow night looking for an even greater service than what we had tonight? You see death riding out here taking everything it can take, but life is on earth and he's fixing to run into it. It's got to be finished. Right here on earth in a final battle called Armageddon and we're right at the door of it right now. But we're soldiers. We're marching up and we've got the sword in our hand. God bless you. Until tomorrow night. Everybody stay.